If you're on TikTok, then you know there's thousands of videos on PC tips and tricks on the platform. Luckily for you, I went and scoured the depths of TikTok to find viral PC hack videos and put them to the test. Let's go see if they work. All right, let's get it. Number one, free up your storage. Let's go. You need to do this on your laptop or PC. Press Windows key and R and enter percent temp percent. These are your computer's temporary files that you don't. Okay. Control A to select them all and you can right click. In okay. My computer had about 20 gigabytes freed up just from this what? one thing. Leave a like. God dang. And make sure to follow for more tech content. Let's give it a try. All right, before we get into this, what we're going to be doing is removing some temp files. Like the guy said, you don't have to worry about removing these and damaging your, your computer. I mean, they are called temp files for a reason. If your computer is using any of these files, then it won't let you delete it. And if they need them in the future, they'll just recreate them anyway. So no harm in deleting these. Like I said, we do control R or you can type in run in your search box and then type in percent temp percent. Hit OK. And we have all these temporary files here. We can see how much we're deleting by hitting control A, right click and hit properties. And it looks like we have almost two gigabytes worth of temporary files in this directory that we can delete. So let's go ahead and do it. Control A and delete. Oh, let's try that again. Control A and delete. See, and now these, uh, these files are already in use, so you can just skip those and it won't delete them or just hit the, do this for all current items. Skip. And now we'll see how much we have left. Six, uh, 37 megabytes. So we deleted almost two gigabytes worth of files there. Now here's a little life hack to avoid having to do any of this. If you're on Windows 10, this might already be set up for you, but you can go in the search bar, type in storage sense, sense, not s send, and then click on the top setting. And what this will do, this little checkbox up here is it will delete your temporary files for you and some other things. I need really need to free up some space. Click on this and then you'll check this box right here. Delete temporary files that my apps aren't using and uh, it'll do it for you every once in a while. This runs every day. So it's going to delete temporary files every day for me. And then you can also set it to delete files from your recycle bin every 30 days or 60, however many you want. You can even select never, but I never need it. We'll just go 30 and you can select your downloads folder to get deleted. I don't have this selected because for some reason I like to download files and just have them stay in my downloads folder forever. And that's where I go find them. Uh, not very organized, but it does the job. So yeah, this hack works. Go do it. Free up some space. All right, now we're going to make a God mode apparently on our PC. I think I've already done this before, but let's find out. Daily PC hacks part five. This may be the coolest setting I've ever found. It's basically this folder you set up that has all of the settings in Windows to come. Oh basically. my god. All you have to do to set it up no is pun intended. Right click, hit new, hit folder. Okay. If you do it correctly, the folder should look like this. When you click into it, you get all of these options that basically do everything you could ask for a Windows. Oh my, it's like control panel, but better. Let's give it a try. All right. I'm on my desktop. Right click, new folder and then one thing you didn't mention in the video at least i don't think you did maybe you just posted as text but you actually have to name the folder what the text was on his screen let me actually make this icon bigger i right, maybe this is a little easier to to see now all right right click rename and then you name your folder this i'm gonna bring up notepads you can see this is what you're gonna name the folder pause in the video right here if you need to copy it down or just a quick google search will show it to you as well but Control c Right click, rename, paste the text in there and hit enter. And now when you click on it, we have our God folder that has every setting you could think of. What it seems like to me, it's just a bunch of settings from the control panel all in one folder, but it's still kind of cool. And one more thing you might need to know is when you paste in the text, you actually don't need this God mode before it. This is just the name of the folder. You can literally type whatever you want in there and hit enter and it'll still create the same exact folder so it works we're gods all right let's keep it going it looks like we have some maybe a script getting built a bunch of starts maybe a bad script in the making let's go find out let me teach you how to crash someone else's computer in 30 seconds step one just go to notepad and type start start start, yep. start, start. 
so many times you can just copy and paste as much as you want step two save the file as step three name the file whatever you want but put dot b a t at the end okay and save that file easy so once the file is saved i saved it on the desktop um you can just open the file and see the magic see the magic bum, 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 bum. and it's gonna go on and on and on and, and you on. have to sing the when it happens it will actually crash the computer let's give it a try all right so just in case this actually works i'm gonna be running it on a windows sandbox you can get this enabled on your windows machine it's basically a windows lightweight virtual machine so that way if it does crash my whole computer doesn't crash and my video keeps recording so first I need to open up notepad and he just says type start a bunch, right? So we'll just control copy that. That should be enough right there. And then file save as. So now let's name the file, whatever we want. Let's name it, um, click to detonate dot B A T. Save it on my desktop. And now, if it works, hopefully this uh, sandbox crashes. We'll see. Okay, so this one didn't actually work. It just created enough command prompts on uh, based on how many starts I added to the text file so it didn't continuously run. So unless you add a bunch of starts or make it loop over, it's not going to break your machine. But I do have one that can break your machine. Let me show you. It's going to be similar steps to the last one, and we're going to do a new text document we're going to name this fork and we're going to right click edit and then we're going to type this in and then we're going to save it again and we're going to go back to the file on the desktop right click rename name it fork.bat this time hit enter sorry i forgot i don't have it i forgot i don't have extensions on so we're gonna have to get rid of the bat and actually open up the file again, then file save as fork.bat and hit save. So now we can get rid of the text file. And now when we double click on our bat file or our batch file, So I just found out a misspelling. I put Stark. This is not Jon Snow or the Stark family. We need to rename it as Start and hit save. Now when I run it, there we go. This is what we're looking for. It's just gonna create a bunch of these and hopefully the sandbox blows up and not my entire computer. So we can see if I can, uh, oh yeah. If you could hear my computer right now, it's purring a little bit. So basically I can't move anything right now. Can't click anything, I'm right clicking everywhere, trying to drag my mouse, nothing's happening. So at this point, you're gonna either have to restart your computer or since I'm on sandbox, I just exit out. Hit okay, and we're good. But use that to prank your friends. There's no harm done in the computer once they restart. I guess this hack kinda works. Didn't work before, but I made it work now, so enjoy. All right, for this one, I specifically went on TikTok and searched Instagram hacks because you guys wouldn't believe how many of y'all DM me asking to view private profiles like we're about to see if this works, um, hack your girlfriend's Instagram profile, hack your boyfriend's Instagram profile. So I went and found one. This one had a lot of views. Let's see if it actually works. How to view any private Instagram account. So what you're first gonna do is manually type in the person's Instagram account that you wanna see and hit enter. After that screen loads up, you're going to go ahead and click sign up. As you guys can see, it is private. And then from there, I want you to fill this out, sign up, sign into any account you want. Before we even finish this, I have, I'm doubting this highly, but we'll see. So from there, we're going to right click, go down to inspect, and we're going to go ahead and click the header that says event listeners. From there, you're going to scroll down, hit page hide, and it should say remove. That. So simple. It, all you're going to do is go ahead and hit the refresh button. Your Instagram must be dumb. Boom, it should be unlocked. Wow. Alrighty. Let's uh, give it a try. All right. So I just went ahead and found this random meme Instagram profile that's private. Uh, apparently, a lot of meme profiles like going private now because I don't know, maybe a lot of people request them trying to see what's on them. But let's see if this hack works. It says to right click, inspect, and we'll go to event listeners. 
Right now we scroll down, find page hide, hit remove. And now we just hit the refresh button, I guess. And yeah, like I figured, um, you see I faxed out of that. It's still private. I, I had no expectation, low, very low expectations of this one. So this one definitely mm. failed. But while you're still here, go to my Instagram and follow me. I post a little bit uh, more different stuff on there. We're almost at 390k subscribers, followers. All right, let's get it. Last hack of the day. And yes, my bandana did change colors. Let's go. PC tips you just might need. If you have this activate Windows watermark, here's how I do. Click the Windows button and type in CMD. Right click command. Okay. Run it down. Once the screen comes up, type in exactly what you see. After that, click enter and it should say completed successfully. Now all you have to do is restart your computer. Fun fact, if you do follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you might have seen me do this exact thing before. But when we switch back to my desktop, you see the Activate Windows came back. So we're gonna try it again. So what we have to do, type in CMD like the man said, right click on it, run as administrator. And you should see here, it's uh, kind of mixed in with my background, but hopefully y'all can read that. So I went ahead and wrote it in notepad for you so it might be a little easier to read. But what you're gonna do is copy this text Again, pause the video right here if you need to read what it says. Then we're gonna paste it into the command prompt. Hit enter. Operation has completed successfully. Now what we do is we can exit out and then hit the restart button. Hi. One hour later. And then you see when we log back in, if you look down in the bottom right hand corner, the activate windows watermark is gone. So yes, this hack works, but you most likely need to run it multiple times. All right, now y'all can go try out these PC hacks for yourselves. Comment below if they work for y'all. And you already know what to do if you made it this far. Hit the follow button, subscribe, like, and go to all my social medias and do the same thing. Bye.